Hey guys, Shay here from Fool on a Journey. This is a spiritual book review, Journal to the Self, 22 Paths to Personal Growth by Kathleen Adams. I will be totally honest and say that I bought this completely on a whim from a used book sale at the library because of the 22 paths, because anybody who's tarot obsessed sees the number 22 and thinks, yes, this is for me. It isn't. That's literally just the number of chapters and they're all different enough and not in any way cohesive in the idea of sort of trying to apply cards to them, which was my initial hope, but as it was like a dollar, I'm not devastated. And there is some good stuff in here, depending on if you're the kind of person who needs this guidance or not. So I do want to be honest and say that if you're someone who has journals, and I'm saying journals plural, you probably already have thought of most if not all of these ideas you probably already have books dedicated to the different ideas that she has I already do there is still some good stuff in here so I am going to show you that so that you know kind of what you're going to get but if you're somebody who's new to journaling if you're somebody who has that fear of the blank book and what do I put in this this is great so let's look in here Here we have the table of contents, if you want to take a peek at that. Um, so in the beginning, the 79 cent therapist, essentially she's saying that this is such a good way to, I mean, super affordably, kind of take your life into your hands, you know, get involved, get in there, do something, start self-evaluating. Um, and then just sort of different ways to write quick and easy, it doesn't have to be complicated. The for men only sort of quick thing was honestly just blurbs of journals from men sort of I guess showing this idea that journals don't have to be like this emotional oh sorry I hit the tripod an emotional kind of diary thing it can just be what happened that day um and then she goes into the toolbox which these are all these different things to sort of help you get going and all the different kinds of journals you could have springboards character sketches um, clustering, which is like mind mapping, dialogue, time capsule. There's a bunch. You can read them if you would like. Um, there's different perspective, dream, and imagery. That's, that's pretty good stuff. And then putting it together, she sort of gives you options of how you can funnel that into something if you really actually need some therapy, like if you're trying to use it to help you manage grief, healing childhood wounds, and journal writing for adult children of alcoholics. So just to kind of get in here, I've marked a couple places that were cool. Um, I think it was this page. Yes. So here's a quick little blurb that I wanted to read just to sort of show you if you're someone who d can't imagine writing pages and pages a day. Uh, these are two different entries. Um, it snowed. I had to wear boots to school. I hate wearing boots to school. They're ugh. <laughs> That's... That's a, totally an entry. Uh, Mr. Mason was sick. We had a substitute. She was boring. Barbie, M, and I ate lunch together. I just kind of wanted to read that because there are very basic, very simple things that you can put in a book just to give you something to look back at. It does not have to be involved. Let's see. Oh, um, friend at the end of a pen. So these are why to write a journal. And this actually makes up what, to me, I feel like is the coolest part of the book. And I almost wish more people would sort of take this idea. So you've got discover the writer within, keep a record for the future, get to know all the different parts of yourself, take advantage of a friend in need and a valuable tool in the therapeutic process, heal your relationships, Access information stored in the subconscious and unconscious minds. Access information from your superconscious, which would be your higher self. Explore your dreams. Recognize the symbology of your life and develop your intuition. Maximize time and business efficiency. Explore your creativity. Track cycles, patterns, and trends in your life. And then... And here's where I get super excited and want everyone to make their books like this. So these are all the things that you could be doing in a journal. And then it tells you exactly which chapter will help you do every single one of those things. So if you want to say, 
let's see. Let's pick the higher self. Okay, so if you want access to information from your higher self, you want to explore the chapter on dialogue, stream of consciousness, and dreams and imagery. Like it tells you how to use the book. That that to me was like the most exciting part. I got I got really into that bit. Um eight suggestions for satisfying journal writing. So Yes, I did want to go over this because start with an entrance meditation. These are awesome. There's one for each of the however many different of the toolbox things that she had. Um, I think it was like 19. Why am I looking at this? I don't remember. However many there were, there's an interest med entrance meditation for all of those. And they're amazing. That is what I got the most out of from this book as someone who already sort of journals quite a bit. They were so good. I've actually recorded a couple of them and I keep them in the like audio files on my phone so that I can listen to them. Like it's, they're, it's good stuff. It's very helpful. Um, date every entry. Keep what's right, write quickly, don't worry about penmanship, which I obviously struggle with because mine is horrendous. Start writing, keep writing. Tell the complete truth faster. Protect your privacy, write naturally. And I did want to read this quote that I underlined. There is only one person who can write the story of your life with all its foibles, follies, treasures, and tears. That person is you. Writing naturally means that you let yourself be you. I thought that was really motivating, you know? Like, no one else can do this but me, so if anybody's going to do it, it's going to have to be me. I kind of like that kind of boost. Um, the kind of books you can use, what you can use. How much is too much? This was another fascinating thing. If you're somebody who gets really into journaling, you can kind of hide there. It's definitely something that I don't want to say is a danger, but it's a possibility to be aware of. Um, there are two things to avoid with your journal. One is never writing in it. The other is always writing in it. In the first case, you participate in life without observing it. In the second case, you observe life without participating in it. Um, so just kind of something to keep in mind. And I was actually kind of impressed that she left that in there. Um, you know, as someone who's trying to get you to journal, that she did put in there, don't just journal. So here is a quick look at the first entrance meditation. I'm obviously not going to show you all of those, um, but they are so good if you want to like pause I think that that should be clear enough for you to read if you would like to uh, again I've recorded some of those on my phone so that I can listen to them and the th I think it's three of them um, but it really I think I use two there are two that I use pretty regularly and have for a while now um, so just something to think about if you're somebody who needs help kind of getting in the right mind space that might be what you need this book for uh, oh, and then this was sort of a fun, the only tarot thing that came out of this is in the dialogue section, it kind of gives you this interview. Um, the interview is intended to be about like creating this alternate version of yourself and how to interview parts of yourself or different things about yourself, which obviously sounds a whole lot like shadow work to everybody who has watched any video on shadow work or integration of self at all anyways um and my immediate thought which you can tell because i wrote it there in my terrible handwriting was deck interview and i have incorporated some of these questions into how am i trying to get not necessarily just the deck but certain aspects of what the deck is pushing on me into actionable advice um what part of me do you represent how can i recognize you when and how do you want expression? What is your healthy purpose in my life? How do you act out or misbehave when I don't pay attention to you? How can I integrate you into myself? What can I learn from you and how can we work together? So just an idea. Um, so again, overall, I think that the benefit to this book really depends on where you're at in your journaling process. If you're somebody who does not struggle and has filled multiple books already and 
you don't really need any new ideas. I could definitely see passing on this one. Um, but there are some gems in here, and if you need some help with, you know, create, you know, capturing the whole memory, you know, and it's captured moments section, that entrance meditation really helps you get on board with every aspect. What did it feel like? What were you thinking? What did it smell like? Who was there? You know, just there's a lot in there with the entrance meditations that can really help advance certain aspects. So just an idea, if you're somebody who's looking for this kind of stuff, if you've never journaled at all, this is a huge jump off you know, springboard to get you going. If you're somebody who's intimidated by blank journals, I highly recommend this for you. And as always, thanks for watching.